Hey, good morning. It's Mr. Lucier. I'm not there today. Uh, you know that by now. But if you're seeing this, it means you were successful in logging into the LMS, the Learning Management System, and you're able to access your courses. Now, just in case you're new to the whole e-learning thing, I want to give you a brief tour of what you should see when you log in. Um, first, let's look at the top of the menu. You'll see an option to select your course. When you click that, you'll see usually two options. You'll see the RCR course, which is the one that you're in that I'm teaching you face-to-face. -face. That's my classroom. And the other is the course that you're taking. Uh, for example, you might see a grade 10 science course like SNC2P. If you see something else, you'll click on that. That's where most of your work is going to be done is in that course. Uh, across the top bar, once you've logged into your course area, across the top you'll see three main toolbars. Uh, one, uh, resources. If you ever want to get back to this content page, um, the content of your course is located under resources and content. That's the key tab there. Under communication, the key thing to pay attention to here is email. Because under communication, that's where your teacher is going to communicate with you about how you're doing in the course, what you need to do next, reminders to stay on task, that kind of thing. The thing that you'll be using a fair bit is under the assessment tab. Uh, something called the Dropbox, which is where you're going to hand in assignments. Uh, I'll give you an idea about how all this works by giving you a brief tour of an activity and show you how they're all laid out. So I'm here in the science course. If I scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll see the content browser, which is where I can see the units and activities for my course. You're going to click on them in order, and your teacher might only show you one or two uh, units at a time. And when you click into a unit, you might only see one or two activities at a time. In the case of this chemistry unit, there are a whole bunch of activities. So let's assume the teacher says, uh, I have to do this activity on acids and bases. Activity 5. They've emailed me, do activity 5, and I go, okay, I'll go to the content browser in chemistry, find activity 5, and when I click on it, there are a couple of main parts of every lesson that I'd like to point out to you. The first is a brief overview of what you're going to be learning, usually really brief. The second tab is usually a list of expectations. It's all of the curriculum connections that the teacher's required to cover. The third and fourth tabs are the ones that are critical. This is the meat and potatoes of your course. So under content, you should see a number of poster pages that are essentially teaching you the content of that activity, teaching you what you need to know in order to do the assignment. Uh, there might be research, there might be videos, there might be interactive activities. There might be more than one page, in which case you'll say advance to the next page down at the bottom. Once you've gone through that, you can do the assignment connected with the activity. And the assignment can vary. Sometimes you'll see a quiz there, sometimes you'll see nothing to do, and sometimes you'll see something where you have to download some pages, maybe do an interactive activity and complete that work using Microsoft Office, for example, typing up a Word document. You type that up and you're all finished. You're essentially done the assignment and you need to get it to your teacher, which brings us back to this assessment tab. And under assessment, you can jump to the Dropbox. You remember that I'm in Activity 5 within Unit 1, so I'm going to go to Dropbox. And in Dropbox, you'll see all these places where I can hand things in. Now, you only have to worry about what your teacher assigns you. And based on what you did in your course the first time you took it, you might have less to do or more to do than the person sitting next to you. In my case, Activity 5, if I click that tab, it's going to bring me to a place where I can upload the work that I did. The teacher will take a look at it next time they get a chance. And that's also where I'll see feedback a lot of the times on the work that I did. So if you want to find out how you did it on assignment or see that a teacher saw it, you can also go into Dropbox to find that out. So those are the key things. You've logged in. You can find your course. You can communicate with your teacher through the email tab. You can drop things to your teacher through the Dropbox. And you can get back to the content of your course by clicking on Content Under Resources. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me. You can contact me through the RCR course uh, up in RCR. I may not be in for a day or two, so you never know. If you want feedback, you want me to give you a suggestion of what to do, you can email me there. Just go to RCR as your course, go to the Communication tab, hit Email, and you'll be able to talk to me. I'll see you very soon. Have a great day.